What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Drip Strick College Football Podcast. Uh, I'm your co-host, Jacob, and uh, I got my co-host, Austin, with How me today. How you doing, guys? How you doing? How you doing? Um, you know, this is going to be another uh, recap of the past weekend. You know, nothing too fancy, but we have uh, we have a lot to talk about this week. So let's just we do. dive. Let's we just do. dive right in, man. Let's go, baby. All right, game one. This is a Thursday night game. Doesn't happen a lot, but I love it when it happens. Yes. We're going West Virginia at Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech. That place before the game, bro, was so electric. That place was mm. crazy. I don't think so. Before that game. Like I'm, I don't really know much about Virginia Tech, and I thought they were like one of those schools where they didn't have like any fans or anything. But man, man, if there's a big game happening there, they show out. But their football team doesn't show out. They lost thirty three to ten. They look, yeah. they look, they didn't look good. Um, J T Daniels two hundred three passing yards. Virginia Tech just didn't look like a good team. Um, but yeah, that's really all I have to say about that game. Okay. Yeah, dude, I I really like J T Daniels. I don't know why. It's just like he's not even having like a phenomenal year. Yeah. But uh, he played against. He played good against Virginia Tech. Obviously, Virginia Tech. They've had a bad year. They're two and two, not having a good year. J T. Daniels only threw one touchdown, but he threw two hundred and three yards. Yeah. yeah. He's just he's really good, and they uh they got the running game going too. So yeah, not not much to say about this game. I love games on Thursday, but I uh I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It's a good game. It's nice to see JT Daniels get a get a shot somewhere. Yeah, it's so weird because like these guys are so good, and like they're really proven that like you can start on a team. Like the bench, the backup for Alabama can start somewhere different. And, you yeah, know, still be so good. You know, yeah, yeah it yeah. really is proving the point for sure. Yeah. All right, we're going to Friday game, Virginia at Syracuse. Me and Austin are very high on Syracuse and their quarterback Garrett Schrader. Yeah. Uh, Syracuse won twenty-two to twenty. Against Virginia, um, you know Virginia's not a great team. Garrett Schrader threw 277 yards passing. Final score was 22 to 20. Um, I, I thought Syracuse would perform a lot better than they did, but they still won, uh, and that's really all that matters at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's a good team. Uh, Virginia is now two and two. Brendan Armstrong, he. Uh... <laughs> he had a bad game. He struggled. He's had a bad season. Yeah, he's he, had a bad season start. He's definitely a reason why they lost the game, 100%. And the yeah. Syracuse defense is not bad. But, yeah, Garrett Schrader, 277, 277 yards. He uh, he didn't run the ball very well, man. He, only, he had no, one he rushing didn't. touchdown, but he only had 11 yards rushing. That's crazy. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, dude, I've been I've been talking about Sean Tucker. That dude is a baller. Yeah, that he is. That dude is a baller. And, uh, he is. He's a big reason why they won the game. But, yeah, it was a good game. Both teams did not play well. But Syracuse was the better team, and obviously they they won the game because of it. And they're they're still not ranked. I don't think they are, at least. Yeah. yeah they're so, not. They're that's not. crazy. They're, I guess that's crazy to me. Are they 4-0? 4-0 now? Yeah, they're undefeated, man. Yeah, they're 4-0. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. yeah they, come on, rank them. Hashtag rank, rank Syracuse. Tweet it. <laughs> Make it a trend. Yes. All right. Uh, so we're going to Saturday now. First game, we're talking about Vanderbilt at Alabama. There's not really much to say about this game. Sleep. Um, the only reason I want to talk about this game is why did they start their freshman quarterback over Mike Wright? Mike okay. Wright did not. Yeah, Mike Mike Wright, the the quarterback who's been playing, who's had a really good season so far, yeah. did not play a single snap in this game. No. They decided to start a freshman at Alabama. They and Alabama won fifty five to three. I was I was just I was so shocked by this. I, it just makes no sense. No shot. It's I was so confused because this freshman quarterback he's not mobile at all. He's he's a pocket passer. Yeah. Um, he just I mean if they had a mobile quarterback like Mike Wright is they you know they, maybe they would have scored some more points. I don't think the outcome would have been differently, but they would have probably scored some more points. It it just really made no sense to me. Yeah, wait. Why the heck did he not play? That's there just had to be not, some kind of reason. He's not hurt or anything. I think they. I think I heard someone like one of the um, reporters say that like they want to get him more experience or some. Yeah. I don't know. Something stupid. I don't know. That's weird. Yeah, he's had a great year throwing and and rushing. But yeah, I, I don't really have much to say about the game. But 
Alabama's Alabama, and uh, Van Vandy's gonna be back. Just you know, Vandy's gonna be back. <laughs> Bro, they're gonna be back. Bro, they haven't even. They're gonna be they're back. back. <laughs> All right, bro. All right, bro. We're going to we're going to Wisconsin at Ohio State. Uh, really, the only thing I had to say, Ohio State won. First off, they won fifty-two to twenty-one. All I got to say about this game is Graham Mertz is trash. Yeah, he's Wisconsin. Awful. Yeah, that um that interception he had at like the start of the game, that was horrible. He's just he's not good. Um, Wisconsin's not good, but Ohio State's pretty good. Yeah. Um, CJ Stroud threw 281 yards, uh, and their wider their um up and coming wide receiver that also has a weird name, just like uh Smith Najigba. <laughs> um, his name is Emika. I don't even know how to Egg Egbuka had 118 yeah. receiving yards. Yeah, they got some good wide receivers. Yeah, honestly, dude, I'm. I'm saying, uh, obviously, Ohio State's a top five team, but Ohio State probably has a top three offense mm-hmm. in the nation. I don't really know who's one and two, but I mean, they they might have the best offense in the nation. They they got some playmakers all over. Uh, they lost Garrett Wilson. They thought that would hurt them a lot, but it really hasn't. Yeah, it really hasn't. I mean, they they really just reloaded on restocked on the wide receiver position, and yeah, they have a great great wide receiver core over there. And obviously, when you got CJ Shroud throwing to you. He's going to make you look good. But, yeah, do not sleep on their offense. And, obviously, they only let – I think I think only Wisconsin scored 21 points. So, yeah. Yeah, they're, I think they figured it out defensively, too. And they're – I'm telling you, they're going to be a hard team to beat this year. Yeah, 100%. All right, we're going to Maryland at Michigan now. Uh, Michigan won 34-27. I thought Michigan would win by a lot more. I don't think Maryland's that good. Uh, J.J. McCarthy, 220 yards. Now – Blake Corum, the running back for Michigan, is Dude. a big, Dude. big, big reason why they're winning so much right now. Yeah, he's lo- bro. He's looking unstoppable. He's looking like last year's Bijan Robinson. I mean, he's he's. I'd say he's probably the best running back in all of college football right now. I mean, he's incredible. Two hundred and forty three rushing yards against Maryland. Yeah, um, beast. He's a beast. Yeah. Um. But yeah. Um. Like I said, I said last week, I was like, dude, um, what did I say? What did I say? I said, oh, yeah, I was like, they really haven't played anybody. Michigan really has not played anybody. And so I said, like, this is going to be the first test. Obviously, Maryland's not that good, but it's still the, like, first really test for them and a half-decent team, and they they don't look good. I mean, yeah, like you said, Quorum had a fantastic game. Their defense didn't look great. Their offense looked it didn't look bad though. It, it's not like the offense struggled too much. They yeah. st- still got the ball down the field and scored, but I mean, it's not their defense are not sold on them. I think they it was like eleven starters they had to on defense. They had to now wasn't eleven. I, I think it was like seven. But it was yeah. it was a, yeah it was, crazy. It was all, yeah it was they a had lot. to uh, get a lot of new guys on the defensive front, and so yeah, it's going to take a while for Michigan. They might not, might not might not be it this year, but yeah, they did not look the defense at least did not look very good against Maryland. Yeah, one hundred percent. All right, so we're going to number five Clemson at Wake Forest. Mm-hmm. Um, this was a really good game. It yeah. really was. Uh, DJ Unga, whatever his name is, the Clemson's quarterback had probably the best game of his career so far. Um, you know, I was really, I was, I was sold that Clemson was not a a good team. Uh, I thought DJ was overrated, but uh, they shut me up this week. They uh, came out with the win in two overtimes against a really they're a really underrated a good Wake Forest squad, fifty one to forty five. Um, but yeah, I was I thought I mean in the predictions video or in the predictions podcast we made last week, I had Wake Forest um like just destroying Clemson, but Clemson takes a took yeah, the cake on this take. one. That was a hot take. Yeah, dude, both. Both quarterbacks played off their mind. I love just straight out shootout games like yeah, this. Yeah, like, me not too. Not a whole lot of defensive play, but I mean, yeah, DJ had five touchdowns, and Sam Hartman threw six touchdowns, and neither of them threw interceptions. Yeah, so there it was, was crazy. really like no defensive play. It was just a straight out shootout, and I love football like that. I just I love it. But yeah. yeah, DJ, man, I was very hesitant. The first first few games of the season, he has not looked good at all, and I'm like, mm. man, he just I don't see it. I don't see it. They got a good uh, good true freshman. That he will probably pass DJ, 
Oh, yeah. And uh, maybe not this season, but next season, obviously. I saw, I saw like, a few people say they don't want to put him in yet just because, like, if he messes up, it'll mess up his confidence. He's only a yeah. freshman. But, uh, but yeah, DJ's, I don't know. He shut up a lot of haters this week, and hopefully he can keep playing like that because I, I like Clemson when they're good. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I do. All right, so we're going to uh, a big upset that happened. Probably the biggest of the week, honestly. Okay. Kansas State at Oklahoma. Yeah. Adrian Martinez had the best game of his career. He had four rushing touchdowns, a passing touchdown. I mean, yeah. they yeah, beat he, he they beat out of his mind. They played. They beat a really good Oklahoma team too. It was forty-one to thirty-four final score. Um, and it wasn't like Oklahoma played bad either. I mean, Dylan Gabriel had three hundred and thirty yards, four passing touchdowns, and they had a real they had a good rushing attack too. It's just Kansas State. They made plays. They played. They made uh, more big plays than Oklahoma did, especially Adrian Martinez with his legs. Yeah, he's a he's a baller. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it was kind of like, uh, the the Michigan game I was talking about. Like, it's just the defense did not play very well. Yeah. For Oklahoma, and I've been talking a lot about on the podcast about Oklahoma. Like, I love them. I think they're a great team. Yeah. But they've always they've always struggled with Kansas State, and uh, they did this Saturday. They did, their defense did not look good, and I thought their defense was one of the best in the country. Adrian Martinez and I talked about Deuce Vaughn on uh, the first podcast. I'm pretty sure I talked about mm-hmm. Deuce Vaughn, one of the best running backs in the league, no doubt. He's a straight baller. Yeah. Him and Adrian Martinez, man, they were lights out. Like. Oklahoma couldn't do anything against them. I mean, they were mm-hmm. just read option, read option, pass. I mean, dude, Adrian Martinez really did it all. And then do, having Deuce Vaughn the, as a running back, they looked very good, and Oklahoma could not stop it. But, yeah, Oklahoma's offense looked good. But, yeah, their defense was just, man, it, they uh, they struggled big time. Yeah, um, 100%. Well, I, I, dude, I literally think for a curse. We were talking so good about listen, Oklahoma bro. for the entire season so far, and then they lose the – Kansas State, man. Listen, listen about about the Dripstick Podcast pr- curse. I've been thinking about this all week. The <laughs> Dripstick Podcast. Listen, we talked really good about like three teams: Oklahoma, they lost about against Kansas State. We talked really good about Georgia. They played mm. all. They they play. They struggled against Kent Kent State. They struggled against Kent State, and we also talked very good on USC, and they almost lost to Oregon State. We t- all took. Took, talked really good about those three teams, and they yeah, yeah. all played very bad. That's correct. And it Ohio is. State's next. Ohio State. Yeah, yeah. About you. You're next. Yeah. If I'm an if I'm an Ohio State fan right now, I'm praying to God that the <laughs> Drip Strick Podcast curse doesn't doesn't affect their team. Hey, it's real. It's, <laughs> it's a real. I mean, Georgia played bad against Kent State. I couldn't I, believe it. I know. We talked so good about Georgia. Bro, even the big dogs have bad days, man. Yeah, and the USC. USC, I talk so good about their offense. They only scored. They only scored seventeen against, against, Oregon, 17 against State. Oregon State, dude. Me, That's crazy. <laughs> it's it's a real it's thing, real. folks. It's a real it's a real thing. All right, all right. So we're going into Kansas at Texas A and M. Uh, Texas A and M actually won this game. It was an upset. Uh, Texas A and M won twenty three to twenty one. Um, the only thing I remember about this game was the KJ Jefferson fumble. Are you are you my Arkansas or Arkansas versus uh Texas A&M? You said Kansas. Oh my bad. I meant you had me sorry. Talking. I was like, wait, what? Yeah, yeah. I meant <laughs> yeah. I meant Arkansas, Arkansas. and Texas A&M. Uh, the only thing I remember about this game really, uh, I watched only a little bit of it, but I saw the KJ Jefferson fumble at the beginning. Was that? I don't even remember when it was, but I just remember he fumbled. Yeah. He was trying to like dive or something, wasn't he? Oh yeah, he was trying yeah. to dive into the end zone, trying to play yeah. super. And then the, yeah, and then he he got returned for like a touchdown. Yeah, that play was crazy. I watched that live. I was like, oh, my God. I, I, that's one of the craziest plays I've ever witnessed live. Yeah, um, but ever since Max Johnson has stepped in at quarterback for Texas A&M, they've, they've been winning their games. And uh, Texas A&M, if I'm Texas A&M, he's in the rest of the season, maybe even next year. Yeah. Uh, I, I would not start Hayes King ever again. Yeah, he's he's rough. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I'd like to say that last week I picked – I picked Texas A&M to win. Uh, I also picked Notre Dame to win too, and they won. Just, just saying. So, if if you need some need some help betting, <laughs> just let me know. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean Texas A&M, they play better. Max Johnson gets the ball down the field a, a little, a lot better than Haynes King. Haynes King's really struggled. Obviously, he doesn't he have is. the experience experience that Max Johnson played in the SEC. 
Uh, man, their running back could also run too. He had a fantastic game. But now they got a, I, think, I believe it's a wide receiver. He's out for the season. That's going to hurt them. Uh, mm-hmm. Texas A&M because they got a they got a big week. They got a big game on Saturday against Mississippi State. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but no, I mean, uh, for real though, Texas A&M's a good team, and Arkansas, man, they just they're too reliant on KJ Jefferson. Like KJ they are, Jefferson they really are. All. And I don't, I don't know, KJ Jefferson. He's good and stuff, but I mean, he's not. He can't put the team on team on his back against the Texas A&M defense. Yeah. yeah, he can't beat Superman all the time. But yeah, they're they're two great teams. But yeah, Texas A&M, I, they'll start figuring stuff out. Now. Yeah, 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 one hundred percent. All right, so we're going to Florida at Tennessee. This was a really good game. I watched this Great entire game. game. I watched the entire game. Um, the final score was thirty-eight to thirty-three. Anthony Richardson, look, we we started off super high on Anthony Richardson. He played like really? trash for for a couple of weeks, and we were like, "Man, he sucks." We talked to trash about him. But now he plays super good. He had 453 passing yards. Finally threw his first touchdown pass of the season. <laughs> About time. Um, but he had a career game, man. He played, I think that was his, the best game of his career so far. Um, or at least one of them. Yeah. Uh, Hendon Hooker, the Tennessee quarterback, had a really good um, really good game. Uh, he had 112 rushing yards. Yeah. Um, he led the entire game in rushing yards. But it was a very entertaining game to watch. Yeah, yeah. Both teams, both teams really wanted to win, and they were high scoring game. Yeah, dude. What's the name? Uh, Anthony Richardson had a phenomenal. Game. He had four touchdowns, two rushing, two uh, receiving. He threw four hundred and fifty three yards, dude. It's incredible. If, if you would have told me Anthony Richardson would have <laughs> four hundred fifty three yards against any defense, I yeah, yes, yes, you're nuts. Even it's like high school. even it's like a team with like Central Michigan, I would have not yes. believed it. Yes, I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> but, yeah, Anthony Richardson had a great game, and I, ha- I hate that they lost it for him. But, yeah, Tennessee, yeah. They're, they're a tough team to beat. They're 4-0 yeah. now. Hidden hooker, yeah, the 112 yards. Dude, he was running all over him. He was being he he was. very impressive. And he threw 349. So, man, if if I'm a Tennessee fan and I got Hidden hooker taken under 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 center every play for me, I'm feeling great because he's, he's so good. He really is. Yeah, he really is. All right, next game we're talking about is Oregon at Washington State. This was a, a, a close scoring game. It was forty four to forty one. Bo Nix had the best game of his career. Yeah, he played great. Dude, there's some people that are like Bo Nix for Heisman after this game, okay. but you gotta remember it's Washington State, man. It's not. It's not like you're playing an SEC defense or anything. You're playing a Pac twelve, like a mid Pac twelve team. They're not even good defense. Yeah. Um, he threw 428 yards. I think that's the most in his career. He did not, he didn't put in, he didn't even get close to that number at Auburn. Um, but Oregon, it was a close game, but they, uh, they did what they needed to do to win. Uh, their defense didn't look great. Um, so if they want to, if they want to do anything, if they want to, you know, get into like a good bowl game or something this year, they're going to need to step it up on defense for sure. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. But yeah, Oregon. Oregon struggling with Washington State. That's kind of yikes. I thought Washington State was going to win, honestly. Like, during the game, I was like, dude, hold up. Yeah, I but did too. Yeah, Bo Nix, Bo Nix had a master class, dude. He had an absolute master class. He played, he played great. 428 yards for Bo Nix is great. But, yeah, Washington State did his thing. But, uh, but yeah, or Oregon just a better team. But, hey, they almost got upset by Washington State. Oh, yeah. It was very close, very close. It was. All right, so we're going to Texas at Texas Tech. Another upset. Texas Tech won 37 to 34 in overtime. Uh, it was a really good game. Uh, I didn't. I didn't get to watch this game, um, but I remember. I just remember. I saw a video online. It was like it, Texas Tech fans. They were storming the field. There was a bunch of Texas players trying to walk off the field. Oh, and they, I did see um, that. And they were getting shoved by the fans and stuff yeah. to the ground. And. Uh, you know, Texas Tech, I, I lost some respect for you from that, but uh Yeah. But 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 they played they played a good game against Texas. Yeah. But, but they were also playing, you know, Hudson Card, not Quinn Ewers. Very true. Very true. Yeah, hopefully um Quinn can come back in a few weeks. Like hopefully just as soon as possible. But yeah, you and I we talked good about Texas Tech. We both I think we both picked them to beat N C State two weeks ago, but N C mm-hmm. State won. 
But yeah, I mean, man, ten, uh, Texas is not that good. I knew they weren't going to be that good coming into the year. Give them a few more years. Give Sark a few more years. They had a bad, very bad year last year. They're not just going to get magically great. Yeah, they kept it close against Alabama at Texas, but yeah, te- I mean, these games are bound to happen for Texas. Just losing to Texas Tech like a, a random game. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really have too much to say about Texas this year. You know, next year I think they'll be very good. And yeah, me too. When uh, when Quinn comes back, they'll they'll be even better this year. So yeah, one hundred percent. All right, so we're going to talk about Middle Tennessee at Miami. True. Middle Tennessee, they they played an amazing game against Miami. They won forty five to thirty one. I remember the beginning of this game was a beatdown. Middle Tennessee was destroying Miami. Um, dude, this is. If if I'm an if I'm a Miami fan right now, I'm embarrassed, dude. This is I mean they it was embar- it was an embarrassing loss. Um, and I remember I remember before the game, you know how they play at Hard Rock Stadium? They don't even yeah. have like their own stadium. Yeah. I remember I remember like their their quarterback Tyler Van Dyke. He was like, not a lot of people show up to the games because not on campus or something. Yeah. I don't know. He said something like that, and uh, he was like calling out the fans or whatever, but. Uh, Miami, I'd be embarrassed if I was you. You lost to Middle Tennessee. Um, you're gonna need you're gonna need to change a lot before, yeah. If you want to get anywhere, um, yeah, I don't know, man. Mario Cristobal not looking too good in his Miami back to back losses. Uh, yeah, one. I mean, they look they didn't look awful against Texas A and M, but then they they go out and get to Middle Tennessee State and lose by. I mean, they didn't just lose like like by a field goal at the end, you know. No, what I'm they they a, lost by a good amount. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not feeling good for Mario Cristobal, Tyler Van Dyke. I'm not really feeling good if I'm uh, a Hurricane fan. I'm not not feeling good at all. It's pretty embarrassing. Yeah, they need to bring back the turnover chain. They got rid of it this year. Yeah, they need to bring it back. It, I don't know, bro. That's corny. That was their, that was their winning charm. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> uh, all right, this one. I'm not excited to talk about this one, but we're gonna talk about it. Missouri at Auburn. Mm. This game was literally gifted to Auburn by the football gods. Yeah. Um their their running back literally like stretches arm out to reach over the goal line in overtime, which would have won the game for Missouri. And he just slips out of his hands. Auburn recovers it in the end zone. That's the end of the game. Auburn won 17 to 14 in overtime. Overall, this was just it was horrible. It was it was a very painful game to watch as an Auburn fan. Um, but you know, for Auburn, it was, it was probably one of the best outcomes. Um, uh, we won the game and I feel like it was enough to fire Brian Harson, but <laughs> he's still, he's still not fired yet. So, Come on, Brad. um, I remember, uh, Robbie Ashford got hurt like midway through this game. We had to start our fourth string quarterback cause the others are hurt. Yeah. Um, Holden Gurnier, something like that. He played horribly on like the first pass. He threw it backwards and it was a fumble. But we recovered it, luckily. Um, but yeah, as an Auburn fan, I'm not feeling great about this year. Um, yeah, yeah that was that was a lucky play. That was so lucky. Yeah, we, Auburn's so lucky. And, the, and then, and like, and then before overtime, Missouri had the ball on like the five yard line or something, and they were kicking a field goal, and the guy missed it. Dang, I mean, I we were literally that. gifted that game by the football guys, yeah. but yeah. Uh, we're not going to be yeah. good this year. We're horrible. Yeah. We're going to finish really low in the SEC. Um, yeah, I feel I feel sorry for Auburn, especially we, like, we, losing we, that Calzada for the whole season. That really sucks. yeah yeah. We want to uh, even play. We want a uh, Deion Sanders. <laughs> we on the Deion Sanders train. Would 100%. you rather have Deion Sanders or Heath Freeze? Deion Sanders. Okay. What about just for the just for the recruiting? Yeah, I I guess I guess. Would you like? Is it like Deion Sanders or bust for you? Like how you feeling? You know, Deion Sanders is one hundred percent the guy that I want. But if they hire someone, if they hire Hugh Freeze, I'm not gonna be mad. Yeah, I don't um, know. They gonna but they got they can't do what they did with Brian Harson. Hire like Boise State. Like a Boise State head yeah, coach, some like random, that, random yeah. head coach. Yeah, like they can't go out and hire the Duke head coach. Like, yeah, that's just. Mm. Yeah, now nah, it was a really super duper weird hire. I was like, dude, I was like, who the hell I know is they that hired guy? him over like, yeah, they had a bunch of other candidates they could have chosen from that were better, but yeah. uh, they, they chose him. Ryan Harson. 
I, I like Brian Harson as a person. He's just not a good coach. Yeah, I feel um, that. I feel that. But you got a lot more season left. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> a lot more losses to take too. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to Bowling Green at Mississippi State now. Mississippi State won forty-five to fourteen. I didn't get to watch this game, but Will Rogers threw four hundred and nine yards. Um, you know the air raid will do that to you. Um, but it looks like y'all played a good game, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. Offensively, we look good. Six touchdowns for Will Rogers, zero picks, four hundred nine yards, which is very impressive. Uh, Caleb Ducking, seven catches, ninety six yards, two touchdowns. He had a re- very bad game against LSU, so I'm glad he got to bounce back. Yeah. Um. Not not too sold. Uh, definitely on, on our secondary, we didn't really look good. Yeah. But uh, special teams, we've struggled all season, and we looked a little bit better on that too. We actually made an extra point, which I didn't know we could do. And uh, but yeah, I mean, we. I don't know. It's it's Bowling Green. We had dope jerseys on. Probably one of my favorite jerseys we've, <laughs> we've ever wore. Um. But yeah, it's Bowling Green. So we got Texas A and M at home. We beat them last year on Saturday. On Saturday. So. Let's see. Let's see that game. That'll be a good one for sure. Yeah, I hope so. Um, so we're going to talk about Duke at Kansas, and I really only want to talk about this because Kansas is on a roll this year, man. Yeah. And I, I'm, like, scared to talk about it because I don't want Kansas to, <laughs> to get the yeah. Drift Streak podcast curse. But, but hey, Kansas is on a roll. They're 4-0. Um, they beat Duke 35-27. to And uh, – Really rooting for for Kansas, man. They're they're one of those teams that'll, you know, be trash for a certain amount of seasons and then randomly just, boom, have a really good season. So hopefully yeah. that's a that's a the case for this for yeah. this year. Yeah, I feel sorry for Kansas fans. Obviously they won the they won the national championship in March, so I can't feel too sorry for them. Yeah, but yeah, they've football wise they've been awful. When Les Miles was there, they were awful. But uh. But yeah, good for good for Kansas. They're four and zero. They beat Duke, um, and Duke Duke's not an awful team this year. Um, usually they are, but not not yeah. this year. So, yeah, yeah. but yeah, good for Kansas. Hopefully we don't curse them. Just a podcast curse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, we're talking about Notre Dame at North Carolina now. Mm. I I am surprised that Notre Dame scored forty five points. Uh, yeah. Notre Dame did win this game, forty five to thirty two. I don't know how it happened, but it happened, and uh, it did happen. Drake May, he still Drake May still played a really good game, even though they lost. He played a good game, three hundred one passing yards. Um, but they just got outplayed by Notre Dame. I still don't think Notre Dame's a good team, though. I still no, don't not. think they are. Yeah, they're, they're not. But yeah, I mean they, and I predicted they'd win just because I did not see them going one and three just to start the season. I mean, it was really, really nothing other than that. Hopefully, their quarterback has a has a good year after uh, their starter was hurt for for all year. But yeah, good for Notre Dame. They got a they got a pretty good win. Their quarterback played pretty well, and yeah, Marcus Freeman gets to gets to live gets to sleep sleep good tonight. You know, <laughs> this time next year, he probably won't be sleeping too good. No, he won't. Um, Maybe with the buyout, I mean, he might have a lot of money, so it might be sleeping good. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so we're going to talk about Minnesota and Michigan State. Really, I want to talk about this game because I just want to talk about how Minnesota fell off so hard. I Ooh. mean, they they have ever since um, like 2019, I believe, we played them in the Outback Bowl. Uh, they had a really good year that year. Um, they had a really good season. Tanner Morgan had a really good season, their quarterback. But ever since then, dude, they have been – trash like last year and the year before 2020 and 2021 seasons tanner morgan and uh the gophers have been they've been horrible but yeah. they actually they won this game 34 to 7 michigan state's obviously not a good uh, good team this year um now that they're they don't have kenneth walker anymore to carry them to win yeah literally carry them i mean like he <laughs> last year kenneth walker literally carried michigan so hard um but he's not there anymore and they don't know what to do they have a really trash quarterback in Peyton Thorne. And um, you know, maybe next year they'll they'll figure out what what to do. Yeah. Um but I just want to talk about how Minnesota just fell off. Yeah, okay. I mean they're four no now. They're four yeah. this year. I don't, yeah, but I don't know the past two seasons they've been trash. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, Tatum Morgan, he had actually he had a really good game. But yeah, Michigan State, I want to talk about them a little bit. Last year, I thought Peyton Thorne was good. Mm-hmm. Like I, I really did think he's good. They played they played well pretty much all season. But yeah, he played bad. Zero touchdowns, two picks. He played really bad. Michigan State, man, I don't know when they gave that long deal to Mel Brook, I mean Mel Tucker. I was like, I was like, I don't know about that. He hadn't really proven much, and now we're seeing a, even a year after. I mean, they got so many guys in the transfer portal. It's not even funny. Mm-hmm. Like they they did the transfer portal one of the one of the best transfer portal teams, and man, they just they look awful this year. They're they're two and two, which is not not good for Michigan State football Mm-mm. and what they want to do. So yeah, I'm yeah. not not feeling too good about Michigan State this year. They're they're pretty irrelevant this year. Yeah, one hundred percent. All right, so let's let's just give a round of applause to Iowa. They actually scored. What they do? They scored twenty seven points, man. Against, uh, I'm against Rutgers, man. This is okay. I'm I'm so proud of them, man. I'm about to cry. They're actually scoring points on offense. <laughs> um, obviously Iowa has not had a great start on on the offensive side. Defensively, they're I mean they're doing they're doing great defensively. Oh, yeah. Offensively, they are they're they're horrible. But but they actually got to score twenty seven points. Uh, and uh. Very, I'm very proud of him for scoring 27 points. Yeah, shout out, shout out to Iowa. They're, I mean, they're three and one this year. Hopefully, their hopefully defense they can get is their carrying offense a little bit. Oh yeah, their defense is big carrying. Hopefully, they can get something going. To yeah. like end the year off. Obviously, I know it's we're only four games in, but still, like they gotta they gotta get something to look into next year. You know, they're not going. Their Spencer is going to be gone next year. He's a senior. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully, that's, hopefully that's they a, start fresh. Yeah, that's a good thing for Iowa. Yeah, because he, he only has one passing touchdown yeah, this he's, year. He's horrible. Yeah, he's bad. All right, so we're going to be talking about Boston College at Florida State. Um, Florida State, they have been pretty good so far this year. Jordan Travis uh, is looking like the real deal at quarterback for Florida State. Um they they beat Boston College, forty four to fourteen, uh, and Boston College. I really thought that they were going to be good this year. Um, last year, their quarterback Phil Yurkovic. <laughs> I knew he was going to say. Their, last <laughs> last year, their quarterback Phil Yurkovic got hurt, uh, and they didn't really get the offensive production that they normally had when Phil Yurkovic was the quarterback. Uh, but this year, he he's been playing not. Like he used to play, uh, and um, he's just yeah he's he's kind of sucked this year to be honest. Yeah. Um, but Florida State, they're looking like um, the real deal. They're still not ranked for some reason. I know that's so stupid. I don't, I don't understand that at all. Uh, all right, they need How to. All right, not ranked? Look, hashtag rank Four Florida no. State. Hashtag rank Syracuse. Yeah. Come on, make it happen. Yes. I mean, it's ridiculous. Please. They're four zero. I don't understand. I mean, they have a they have a good win against LSU, and LSU is not like a scrub. LSU is yeah. a good team. Obviously, they beat Boston College soundly. I mean, they and did Louisville. Had, yeah, they beat Louisville, and then they had a cupcake. Like they played Week Zero, but yeah, they they, they play good. They need to rank. They need to be ranked for sure. I mean, like they don't have to be like top fifteen or anything. Yeah, I mean, put them at twenty five. Yeah, put them. Yeah, just, just rank them, man. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. And Syracuse. Um, and I believe that is all I have for this week. Okay, honestly, I don't, I don't have any teams to talk about just because I don't want to curse anybody this week. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah. This Saturday, big things this Saturday, and um, I'm looking forward to next week's because like I, today, like this Saturday, I get to actually watch all the games. I'm gonna be home pretty much all day. Yeah. Get to watch all, all college football, and I'm, I'm excited. You know, this Saturday I couldn't really watch too much, but you know, look at stats, look at highlights, keep up with it. But hey, I'm I'm looking forward to Saturday. Cannot wait. I cannot wait. Yeah, I'm I'm looking ahead right now, and it's looking like we got some really good games coming up, man. On on Saturday. Mm-hmm. Bad. Oh wait, correction. We made a mistake. Florida State is ranked, ranked twenty three. Huh? Really? Yeah, they're ranked twenty three right now. Syracuse oh. is still not ranked though, so still hashtag rank Syracuse. Rank <laughs> oh, man, it's crazy. Let's get it trending, please. Let's get it tra- trending on Twitter. I don't understand that at all. It's weird. It, it really good. does make sense. They're good. But uh But yeah, that's uh that's all I got. That's all I got too. Man, wait, listen. Thank you. Thank you all guys for watching. It means a lot to us. Keep watching. 
Leave a like, leave a comment, tell us what you liked about it, tell us what you didn't like about it. And uh and yeah, leave us your thoughts about college football. These are a blast to make. We have a lot of fun doing it. Mm. That's why we're not going to stop doing it. They want us to stop, <laughs> but we're not stopping. So oh, this gosh. is episode five. Yeah. And, um, I've been having a blast doing this. It really makes me get locked in on college football, which I love. I love college football. And uh, do you have any more any more remarks, Jacob? Um, you're still watching. Shout out to you, of course. Yes. Uh, if you got any suggestions, put them in the comments below. And if you want to be a uh, special guest for one of our episodes, uh, DM us on Instagram or uh, DM us on Twitter, and uh, we'll uh, get things sorted out for them. Yes. Yes, for sure. And uh, subscribe to the channel. So uh, we've been growing more than I thought we would. Honestly. Yeah. We've been doing very well. And I'm really enjoying it. I like I like looking at numbers and stuff. And this is uh, this is fun. So yeah, and uh, that's all I got. And thank y'all for watching. And I'll see y'all next time.